Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Marcio here. Today I'm really excited because we are going to deep dive in web development using Python and Flask. For those who don't know, Python is a general programming language, which means we can write any kind of program using Python, and Flask is a web development framework developed in Python and for Python applications. And it has lots of mechanisms to help us building really cool and quick web applications, such as rendering pages, handling form submissions, and much, much more. In our demo, we'll be building something simple but powerful. We'll be building a kind of WordPress blog post management, where we'll be able to create a blog post, view blog posts, list blog posts, and also delete a blog post. Bear in mind, WordPress is a beast, it's big, it's huge, it has lots of features. And the idea here is not to clone all features from WordPress, but instead, I'm gonna give you guys an overview of the building blocks of web development using Python and Flask. You can use the same building blocks to write any kind of applications you have, any kind of web applications you want. Of course, web development is not only about a programming language and a framework, but a few other stuff. We'll be using Twitter Bootstrap 5, which is an HTML and CSS framework for help us building a UI quickly and easily. We'll be using Python, Flask as well. And in the end, the application is gonna be a really nice simulation of this content management system. Okay, enough talking, and now we're going to deep dive and get our hands dirty coding the solution. And here we go. First thing here is to open a command line, a command line on Windows or a shell on Linux or Mac OS. And we have to create a folder for hosting our project. So I have here, my root folder here for my YouTube projects, and I'm gonna create a new folder called Marcio Press. That's gonna be my application's name. After that, just go to your folder, doesn't have to be the same name, and now we are going to start creating the application configuration. First thing here is to create a virtual environment for our Python application. Let me clean the screen before. Python M VM VM. A virtual environment is simply a way for Python to isolate all the dependencies for a single application. We will need to install a library or a few libraries on our application. I don't want to install that on the global Python. I want to, that to be restricted to our application. And that's the way we do in Python. So Python dash V, VM space VM dash M. I'm sorry, VM VM. And it's gonna take a little while, but it's gonna create the virtual environment in our application. And there we go, it's done. I can now list the, the folder and we have a folder called VF. Next step is to activate this virtual environment and it's simply by calling a script called activate. So that's the folder, VF slash scripts and activate. After that, we will see that we have this notation here, VM, which means that Python has activated the virtual environment for this project. So we are quite ready to go. Now that we have everything in place and we have our folder for the project, we have the virtual environment, we can now start installing Flask, which is done by typing the command pip install Flask with capital F. Pip is the Python's package management tool, which means every single library we want to install in the application, we can use pip to install that library or uninstall if we want. So just press enter here, now it's done. Now next step is to open your Visual Studio Code because we need an idea. You can even use a VI or Vim or any other kind of editor, but I do prefer using the Visual Studio Code. Let's open that folder and that folder is the projects and YouTube and then Marcio Press. So there is nothing in that folder besides the virtual environment subfolder. And now we can start creating our application. Let's create here a file called app.py. And this is gonna be the application's main file. So we're gonna write our Python code here to instantiate Flask and also do all the routing and all the stuff we need. First thing here is uh, from Flask, uh, import Flask. 
This is the very first thing we have to do here in the top of the document, which is to import the Flask library. Next step is to instantiate the Flask application, and it's done via app equals to Flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore. So now we have a variable here, which is the application called app, and then we are assigning a new instance of a Flask application. So it's going to give us a lot of facilities and mechanisms to work with a web application. Now we need to start writing our code. And the first thing we're going to do here is to write a single route. A route is something that we configure the application to respond to a path. For example, whenever we go to google.com and we click enter, then that request goes to the Google servers and some server will resolve that name and will forward to a service that will respond to that root folder, which is simply slash. So there is no uh, path on that URL. Well, we're going to do the same thing here and to say at app dot route and then we can give a route here. So I simply gave it the root route here, which is, is slash. So that's going to be the main page in, in this case. And now I need to define a function here to respond to that route. It's going to be, I'm going to call it home. And then I have to return something, either a page or a text. In this case, I'm just going to return a single text here. It's going to be a one hello word. And then I'm going to close my a one tag and save. And after that, we're pretty much good to go. We can now run our application because we have installed, we have configured, we have a folder, we have a main file here, which is going to respond to the application. And now let's go back to the command line here and let's run the application. We can run the application just typing flask run. Okay, we got the feedback here on the screen saying that the application is running here and it's listening to the port 5000 on my local host. We can now call the application on the web browser. So that's going to be localhost 5000. And we just received it here the hello world, as you guys can see here. So it's quite simple, easy and quick to build any kind of web applications using Flask. Uh, pretty good, but uh, we want to do more than we are doing right now. And what we want to do now is to add a template on the Flask application we have here because we want to render an HTML file. And what we're going to do is we are going to have a master template and all the other templates. And the master template is simply a common format that all pages will have. And it's called template inheritance. I'm just going to create a new folder here. It's going to be name it templates. And I'm going to add my main template here. So where this main template comes from, I'm going to show you guys pretty quickly. This is Twitter Bootstrap, which is the HTML and CSS framework that we'll be using. It's done by Twitter, the famous Twitter. And it has lots of things, tags and CSS that help us to build applications quickly. They, they also offer this snippet of code here where we can get a quick start, but we'll be using a more interesting example from them which is the stick navbar uh, with footer, which is this example here. It's amazing that we can simply get grab this example here and toss inside our application and it's going to be running and working pretty good and pretty fine. So we don't have to um, reinvent the wheel on that. And for that, what we're going to do is to simply um, view page source. We're going to copy the content here of the file, uh, we are going to do a few modifications and then add it to our project, which is going to be something that we'll do in the next video on the continuation. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos and take a look on the next video. Don't miss it. I'll see you guys next time.